the hypothesis uh, for antisense treatment of familial amyloidotic polyneuropathy is that since the pathology is caused by deposition of uh, the transthyretin protein, if you can do away with production of the protein, then you won't get the disease. Uh, you can't make amyloid without protein to make the amyloid fibrils. And in uh, phase one studies, uh, mouse studies in phase one and phase two studies, it's been demonstrated already that uh, 75, 80 percent production of transthyretin by the liver, which is essentially the sole source of serum transthyretin, uh, uh, can be achieved with antisense oligonucleotide of the second generation that uh, Isis Pharmaceuticals has, uh, has uh, championed. And a question I have in my mind and should uh, remain in the mind of everyone and is that is is 75 or 80 percent suppression of this protein enough to stop the disease after the amyloid deposition in tissues have started can it progress with just 10 percent production of the normal protein or the abnormal protein that's a question to be answered and certainly that's why we're involved in phase three studies we, there's a lot of push nowadays for people to want a drug as soon as possible uh, when they have a fatal disease. Why can we wait for the FDA or investigators to, to get it on the market? But many drugs have fallen by the wayside because they were shown not to be effective when they were really subjected to uh, placebo-controlled studies. And that's very important.